I think uh, already uh, because of this uncertainty, uh, investment in China uh, has been affected. And so uh, if uh, this conflict is solved soon, that will be good for uh, the Chinese economy and also for the U.S. economy. Yeah. But this is... Uh, outside of the central banking. <laughs> but it's affecting the outlook. I mean, actually, Japan is, is going to yeah. start trade talks with the U.S. next week. Yeah. Do you see this as a potential risk factor if our administration pursues the uh, path of tariffs or tariff uh, threats? I, 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 I mean, personally, I don't think so. But, uh, of course, this is uh, up to uh, trade negotiators. <laughs> so I don't know. But have, have you looked at a scenario <laughs> where if the U.S. put tariffs on mm. Japanese car mm. exports to the United States, mm. what would that do to the Japanese economy? As, as you know, uh, already uh, most of uh, Japanese cars sold in the United States are produced in the United States. Uh, so uh, I really don't think uh, uh, it's necessary uh, for the U.S. to impose tariffs on Japanese car import. And, Many of them may be uh, components for automobiles produced in the United States. And uh, by the way, uh, the <coughs> uh, within the uh, U.S. Uh, trade deficit, uh, years ago, 20 years ago, a uh, large part of the U.S. trade deficit was with the with, with Japan. Yeah. But now it's quite small. 60 so, billion. The president still wants to eliminate it. <laughs> Is that possible? I, I'm not quite sure because uh, bilateral trade uh, uh, is not uh, a very important uh, uh, economic uh, indicator. I mean, global uh, current account. Sure. It will be quite important, but it should be global, multilateral, and not only uh, trade balance, but service trade balance, income uh, account balance, and so on and so forth. So when you look globally, yeah. I mean, risk assets have performed very well yeah. in, in 2019. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been risk on, that's yeah, helped yeah, the yeah. dollar yen, yeah, that's yeah. helped a, a lot mm. in terms of the economic outlook as well. Do you expect that kind of environment to continue? Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, according to the World Economic Outlook, uh, recently released by the IMF, they also think that uh, this year growth rate would decelerate because uh, last year growth rate was uh, world global uh, economy uh, growth rate was 3.6 percent, but this year they expect 3.3 percent. But next year, it would uh, Bounce back. accelerate to 3.6%. Uh, and this is the main uh, scenario. And it is most likely, uh, if this is uh, realized, I don't think there would be any uh, financial market turmoil or anything like that. But this uh, mainline scenario, uh, is mainline. <laughs> What's the there biggest? There are a lot of, a lot of uh, downside risks. What's the biggest risk to the global economy? At this stage, I must say that uh, that uh, uh, trade uh, protection, not only uh, between U.S. And, and China, but there are some sort of uh, protectionism. That is, I think, the most uh, <coughs> uh, serious risk uh, involved in the global economy. But, as I said, uh, I hope uh, uh, U.S.-China trade conflict would be resolved soon. Uh, by the way, uh, IMF uh, World Economic Outlook main scenario uh, does uh, assume uh, U.S.-China trade conflict would not uh, uh, worsen, would not uh, become so serious. If uh, it worsened and 
becomes more serious. It's a then, different outlook. That's right. Also, uh, during the discussions uh, here in Washington, D.C., I sensed uh, somehow uh, Chinese economy is likely to recover in the second half. Partly because of the huge uh, fiscal stimulus measures the government has already decided, and some of them are already uh, implemented. Haruhiko Kuroda, the Bank of Japan governor, ending there actually on an optimistic note, yeah. saying he buys into the green shoots that they're seeing in China right now. I think the biggest takeaway, Wilfred, for investors is it, it was a good window into the mind of a central banker, Japan's the third biggest economy, as to how trade is affecting the outlook. And for an economy like Japan, it really has weighed. The exports to China has hurt the entire uh, sort of production line of the economy and erased some of the progress that they've made in Japan in, in returning the economy toward growth and ticking that inflation rate a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, and the other takeaways though from that and the earlier chunk and the full interview which is on, on CNBC.com is trade fears obviously exist, but, but in terms of that trade war aspect, I, he was kind of relaxed about it. He was bringing it up as the biggest fear out there, but he kind of implied that he doesn't actually think it's going to elevate or escalate too much more. In that sense, I, I felt like he, you know, he was very relaxed, very jovial about it. The US okay. and Japan, exactly. Uh, the other point I'd say is that he basically, in a roundabout way, admitted that actually weakening the, weakening the yen was one of the intentions of the super loose policy, which Correct. of course publicly and officially is never quite admitted. I mean, it's there for all to see, but he did, he did say that.